is that Christmas Eve is a, a magical night here at Trinity on Capitol Square. And over the years, we have welcomed new people into this community, and we've seen old friends, and it's been a night of, of great delight. It's often had a, a focus on young people and children at the early service, and tonight we've chosen to uh, continue that theme with an order of worship for Christmas Eve. Throughout this service, you will be invited to offer your own prayers, and please do send them through Facebook Live link. We're delighted to worship with you online tonight. As able, let us stand. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Collect for Christmas Eve. Let us pray. O oh God, you make us glad with the yearly festival of the birth of your only Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we who joyfully receive him as our Redeemer may with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden, burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continuously, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord hosts will do this. A reading from Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nation, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord your families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due to his name. Bring offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He, is, he has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in, in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy. Before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in, Gal in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This would be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an, the angel a, mul a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. 
So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The word of the Lord. Good evening. It's great to be with you guys tonight. This book has been a favorite of mine for about 10 years now. Um, I read it to my preschoolers every year, and it's called Christmas in the Barn by Margaret Wise Brown. In a big warm barn in an ancient field, the oxen lowed, the donkey squealed, the horses stomped, the cattle sighed, and quietly the daylight died in the sunset of the west. And a star rose brighter than all the stars in the sky. The field mice scampered in the hay, and two people who had lost their way walked into the barn at the end of the day. And they were allowed to sleep in the hay because there was no room in the inn. The little mice rushed in the sweet dry grass near the lambs and the kine and the ox and the ass. The horses pawed at the golden straw, the little donkey brayed, hee-haw, And there they were, all safe and warm, all together in that ancient barn. When hail, the first wail of a newborn babe, reached the night where one great star was burning bright. And shepherds with their sheep are come to watch him sleep. What child is this who is born here where the oxen stomp and peer? Away in a manger, no crib for his bed. What child is this who lays down his sweet head? In the big warm barn in the ancient field, the child sleeps, the donkey squeals. The star goes down, yet the wise men stay to see the dawning Christmas day. The child was sleeping in the hay. And there they were, all safe and warm, all together in that ancient barn. The end.
I want to extend an invitation um, to those who are with us tonight to a life group that will be starting in Epiphany on January 5th. So there's more information about it in eChimes. So if you're signed up for that, look at the link there. We'll be starting on January 5th and meet for Tuesday, meet on Tuesdays throughout Epiphany at 7 p.m. Hopefully you can join us. Good evening again. Um, I am here to show you an old friend that we haven't seen in nine or ten months, um, probably since the beginning of February or March. And um, I just want to let you know that our children in Liberia are still going to school. Um, in the last few weeks in the e times, we have um, put how much it costs for us to send our children to school. Um, for two of them, it is $300 a year. For um, another one, it is $250 a year. And for um, two other ones, it's $350 a year. And we covered these costs by our loose change donations every month. And um, we still need your donations to help us send these kids to school. So you can send a check to the church with Pimmel at the, um, on the memo. And then we are also working to get online donations as well. I truly appreciate all your support for this and hope to see it grow in the new year. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. I, I hope that you'll leave that, that wonderful that burlap-covered tin can, an old friend, uh, right here in our decorations. Um, we talked about this at Vestry last week, and uh, it is, uh, it is a, a, a joy to uh, reinstitute that giving. Um, we invite you to, to make an offering um, and to do that uh, not only symbolically through the gift tonight, but also through the, through the year. Um, our loose change offering always happened at both services on the first Sunday of the month. Occasionally it might have been a different Sunday, but generally it was the first Sunday of the month. Rachel, you've been very thorough and, and, and faithful in that. And uh, we would, would like to invite you to do that through the Epiphany season, beyond Christmas and through the Epiphany season as we head to um, into two th the year 2021. The old offertory sentence is appropriate for us this day. Before I offer that, I want to say on behalf of uh, Catherine and me and on behalf of our staff and, and all those who have uh, continued to do ministry in ways, as they say, seen and unseen, we, uh, we are grateful for your lovely messages and greetings and gifts in this holy season. We pray that God's blessing might be with you as we begin a new year faithfully and with joy. So walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God. May this be the first gift. As a community of faith, it is in our tradition to be in prayer with and for one another. We invite you to put your prayer requests and thanksgivings in the Facebook feed at this time. The prayers of the people for Christmas Eve. With angel song bursting through the heavens, shattering the stillness of this night, you have our attention, God. We praise your name, your gift of yourself, with a joyful noise. With those who have lived before us and those who come after us, we praise you. As your church, we are amazed at your goodness. Give your church a sense of awe and wonder as we open our hearts to receive the gift 
of your very self among us. May our lives reflect the joy of your good news. We pray for our leaders who pass laws and make decisions that impact lives around the world. May their decisions reflect wisdom and justice and peace. May our relationships reflect the peace of your good news. With people around the world, we rejoice at your presence in our world. With people around the world, we weep with those who are oppressed, hungry, living in fear of violence. May our lives reflect the joy of your good news. We pray for those who live and work in our neighborhoods, who rush to our sides when we are in crisis. For those who are crying this night from pain, from broken relationships, from loneliness, with those struggling to be born and with those who are dying, we ask your healing and wholeness. May our lives reflect the joy of your good news. For those who have died and entered the larger presence of your love, we pray. May our lives reflect the joy of your good news. We pray for Kenneth, our transitional bishop in the Diocese of Southern Ohio, Michael, presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, Elizabeth, presiding bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. We remember all who work for peace around the world, for First Lieutenant Adam Sincion, Captain Christian Toninson, Cynthia Epler, Matt Schumann, and all who serve our country. We pray for all hungry and homeless people in our city, remembering especially those who gather and serve at In the Garden. We pray for all who are sick or suffering at this time. For Tony, Allison Lawrence, Gabrielle Semph, Rita and Dennis, Kay Sturm, Tasia Moore, Joanne Lynch, Jeff McNeely, David, and all in prison. Rachel Friend asks for prayers for Rosemary Walton and continued prayers of healing as she comes home from the hospital today. Courtney Clark asks for prayers for healing and equality in America, especially in our city during these troubling times. On a typical Christmas Eve, we would have the memorials and thanksgivings written in our bulletin. So we'll take a moment to read those out loud. In memory of the following. Dorothy, Cameron, and Spencer Allen. Deborah Bartell. Kent R. Beidel. Charles Landis Bitzer, Mary Elizabeth Bitzer, Ruth Burke Bitzer, Mildred Runkle Burke, Bill Casto, Lillian Frisch Dorsey, Juanita East, Dolly Hemphill Frisch, Robert E. Frisch, Ida Copenhaver Ginter, Joanne Guru, Maurice and Phyllis Guru, Alexander Hemphill, Dalit Hemphill, John Hemphill, Ronald Kaiser. Lawrence and June Leonard. 
Andre Maurice Hill. Deborah Miller. Phyllis and Peter Pasco. Sharon E. Phillips. Ann Price Renwick. Eric Renwick. Helen Byerly Sandbo. Elizabeth Staub. Jesse and Basil N. Wines. The homeless who have died this year. We give thanks for the following individuals. Tom Belcher. Richard Burnett. Diane Donato. Craig Foster. Rachel Friend. Stacy Kaiser, Bob Wicks, Kevin Wines, In the Garden, for grandchildren and for nurses. We remember these individuals and give thanks for them. On this Christmas Eve, we remember all the children in our community. We remember two young people of our community who have fallen because of gun violence in the flight of fire with local police. We remember Andre Hill, who was killed recently and three weeks before Corey Goodson, Jr. And we remember their mothers and their families who grieve them tonight. Heavenly Father, you sent your own son into this world we thank you for the life of all children, especially those children entrusted to our care and those children who are our neighbors in this city. Help us to remember that we are all your children. Help all of us to know that we are called to love and nurture each beloved child that they may attain to that full stature intended by you for them in your eternal kingdom. For the sake of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, we offer these prayers and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Hear a collect for Christmas Eve. O oh God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God, who sent his Son, to take our nature upon him. Bless you in this holy season. Scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your heart with the light of his holiness. Amen. May God, who sent his angels to proclaim the gl glad news of the Savior's birth, fill you with joy and make you heralds of the gospel. Amen. May God, who in the word made flesh, joined heaven to earth and earth to heaven. 
give you his peace and favor. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this Christmas and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Remember the poor. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.